Both of these commercial agreements use a dynamic purchasing system or DPS. Here's how to use the DPS system from start to finish to run your further competition using these agreements. If you want to skip ahead to any particular section, pause here and use the timings on screen. There's two ways to run your further competition, a standard award or a rapid award. With standard award, use shortlist suppliers using the DPS system, export their contact details and run your competition using your own online procurement tool or CCS's separate e-sourcing tool. With Rapid Award, aka Desktop Evaluation, use shortlist suppliers using the DPS system, export the supplier info, which includes pricing, prospectus info, social value initiatives, and answers to pre-asked quality questions. Use this to evaluate and Rapid Award to the winning supplier. Sign contracts on the system using DocuSign or offline over email or a procurement tool. Note that with Learning and Training Services DPS, you can only use Rapid Award for off-the-shelf courses, and for apprenticeship training, you can use it for all its services. For everything else, you can use Standard Award. Now, myself and my colleague are going to show you how to use the DPS system itself. I'll be demonstrating how to use the desktop evaluation tool as part of the apprenticeship training dynamic marketplace today. But do also note that desktop evaluation is available to use as part of the learning and training DPS. To register, head to the DPS system site on screen and click register. There's links to the DPS site on the CCS commercial agreement web pages and in their buyer guidance. Select buyer and then next. Fill in your and your organization's details, agree to the and C's and click register. Your details are sent to NQC, our service provider, to review. If someone else in your organization is already signed up to the system, they'll be sent an email to approve your registration. If you're the first person from your organization to sign up, then you'll become the approver for other colleagues. When you receive your registration confirmation email, this will be from NQC and may be titled Supplier Registration Service, as this is the name of the overall service. For help, or if you don't hear from NQC in a few days, take a look at the help and contact pages at the bottom of the sign-in page. So firstly, when we log in as a buyer, we're gonna to come to this Supplier Registration Service homepage we can see that I'm logged in because this says your dashboard in the top right hand corner. In order to access the Apprenticeships DPS and get started with the desktop evaluation, we'll go to view the available agreements in this blue box on the right hand side. We'll then be taken to the DPS marketplace, so that's the Dynamic Purchasing System marketplace, where you can access all DPSs that are currently offered. If we scroll down slightly, so I mentioned we're using the Apprenticeships uh, Training Dynamic Marketplace today. In order to access that, we're going to click on the Apprenticeship Training heading. Excellent. And then we're taken to the Apprenticeships DPS. You can see we have a logo here and a welcome text with some information about the Dynamic Marketplace. In order to get to the uh, desktop evaluation tool, we're going to click on Access as a Buyer. Excellent, and now we're taken to this Manage Your DMP Category Portfolios page. So the first thing we want to do is we want to scroll down to the right hand side and in the bottom right you'll see options and underneath options we have various um, links. So we can see here we've got the Customer Readiness Checklist. Again, just to guide customers through using this, uh, this DPS. We can return to the previous page by clicking Manage Your DMP Category Portfolios at the top of the page. You can see underneath options again, we have another opportunity to read that customer guidance document that we saw as part of the terms and conditions. We're gonna go now to appointed suppliers, which is the final option underneath options. Great, so this will show you a list of the um, all the suppliers who are appointed on this DPS. You can see that you can scroll through, use these buttons at the bottom to navigate. So just to give you an idea of what the option will do, We'll go back to manage your DMP category portfolios again using this link. To create a new category and start a desktop evaluation, we'll scroll down and in the bottom right, click on create new category portfolio. And then we will click on the rapid option. So it's very important to note that a desktop evaluation can only be carried out via the rapid route, not to the standard route. So we'll click on the rapid route and then give some portfolio requirements. 
and then click on continue. Excellent. So if you've ever used a DPS before, uh, as a buyer, you may recognize this page. This is where you can make your filter selection. On the left hand side here, you've got the filters that you can choose from. And in the middle of the page, you've got the suppliers that you can that you can essentially choose from. So the suppliers, the suppliers that are appointed on this DPS. So we'll start by selecting an apprenticeship standards filter. You will also need to click on select training filters. Will indicate that we'd like our training filter type to be standard and then we're faced with various options under these drop downs so just for the purposes of the demo i am going to select no preference for each of these so we've got apprentice cohort mix minimum numbers of apprentices training availability training delivery mode training timetable and personally identifiable information and then I'm going to indicate that I would like to apply all of the above selected filters to any remaining standards and then click on save and continue, confirm and save and continue again. Great, so that's now narrowed down my search even more. And if I'm happy with that, I'm going to click on save portfolio, give the portfolio a name and save. And then that will appear underneath manage your DMP categories. Brilliant. So you can see this category that I've just selected. You can see I've got various options along the bottom here. The option to run desktop evaluation is currently exporting. That will be available to select in a few seconds. While that's happening, I will just briefly explain these other links at the bottom. So this is the category that we've just selected. You can see that we just created. You can see that I've got the name that I've given to the category. You can see that this is a rapid route. You can see the filter selection here, the requirements and the number of suppliers in this category. Clicking on view suppliers will show you a list of the suppliers. You'll need to click the statement, click confirm, and then you'll be able to see a list of the suppliers. You can see that the request evidence option is grayed out. The reason for this, um, that you're, the reason that you're unable to request evidence from suppliers is because we have selected the rapid route when we created the category portfolio. So the rapid route automatically allows you to download the suppliers full pricing and prospectus information. As such, there is no option to request further information since the idea is that the rapid route already gives you access to this. Whereas if we had selected a standard route when we created our category portfolio, we wouldn't have access to this information. And so we would have access, we would have the option to request further evidence. But we'll return now to manage your DMP category portfolios by clicking this link. So returning to these links, so run desktop evaluation, we will look at in just a moment. Update. So the data in this category portfolio will only be valid for two working days. So clicking on update will just make sure that the information is up to date. And if any suppliers have become appointed in that time, which match the filter selection in this category portfolio, then they will be included in the category. Next, we have reuse. So this will reuse your filter selection. So essentially, if you wanted to create a new category portfolio, you wouldn't have to scroll to the bottom and click on create new category portfolio and start again. Reuse will reuse the filter selection. So it will create um, an, an identical category for you. And then you can just add and take away the filters as you like. So you don't have to start completely from scratch. Clicking archive will remove the category portfolio from this page. Clicking export will download the suppliers offline in a CSV file. When you click export, you'll be asked to use your supplier shortlist within two days. This does not mean that you need to complete your procurement in that time. It means you need to start your evaluation in that time. If you don't start evaluating within the two days, it's not a problem. You just have to click update on the shortlist before continuing. If you went the standard award route, clicking export would get you the shortlist suppliers contact info. Use this info to invite suppliers to bid through your preferred online procurement tool and go from there. If you went the rapid award route, clicking export will get you the shortlisted suppliers contact, prospectus and pricing information. Each supplier will have a pricing sheet for the apprenticeship standard or off-the-shelf training course you've chosen, along with any volume discounts they can provide and any additional services offered. And there's the prospectus info, social value initiatives, and answers to pre-asked quality questions. Use this along with the pricing info to evaluate suppliers based on your chosen requirements and weightings and rapid award to the winning supplier. Sign contracts on the system using DocuSign or offline over email or a procurement tool. 
So let's get started with the desktop evaluation by clicking Run Desktop Evaluation. Excellent, so this is what the initial page will look like and we will click on Continue. Great, so at this stage we're asked to upload the documents that we would like to share with our suppliers, so with the, the documents that we would like our successful tenderers to review. Two documents for you to download and review which make up the contract terms. The order form is the cover sheet of the contract where you include details like contract details, buyer and supplier details, learner numbers and price. The DPS call-off terms form the basis of the contract. Address any highlighted text in each document before sending to the supplier to sign. As we've seen, you can download these from the system or at any point you can go to the CCS website, search for the relevant commercial agreement and download the order form and contract terms from the document section. Once your evaluation is complete and you've completed your contract documents, rapid award the winning supplier. So far, none of the suppliers will have been notified of your activity on the system. With a rapid award, you only need to contact the winning supplier. There's two options here. You can take it offline and continue your procurement over email or a procurement tool to notify the winning supplier and sign contracts. Or you can do the same using the DPS system and DocuSign. Upload the file from my computer. Be sure to give this a name and indicate that I would like the supplier to digitally sign this file and then click on Upload Specified File. Great, so then the file will appear here at the bottom and that's how you know that this file is saved. So we'll click on Save and Continue. Great, so we'll then be asked which of the following workflow stages we wish to include. And then we'll be asked which user would you like to review your desktop evaluation. I'm going to select my own user here and then click on Next Question. Brilliant. So now this desktop evaluation has gone into the reviewing stage, as you can see. So you'll be taken back to this dashboard. Since I selected myself to review the um, desktop evaluation, I'm going to click on review. You can see that I'm being welcomed to the reviewing stage. I'll go to save and continue. And then you can see here the documents that I asked to be shared with the supplier the workflow stages I wanted to include and I'll click review and then I'll be taken to sign off and submit the desktop evaluation. And then I will go back to my dashboard where this will be in awarding select as you can see here. So now this has progressed and it's in the awarding select stage. This is essentially where you can choose who your successful tenderers are. So who you would like to award the desktop evaluation to. So we're going to click on award desktop evaluation. And you can see supplier award and we're being welcomed to the awarding select stage. So we'll go to next question. And then we're asked, who would I like to award the desktop evaluation to? So initially with the, um, the system is saying these suppliers will be included in your desktop evaluation. I'm just going to select the one supplier that I want to see. And then we're asked to select the successful supplier. So again, just selecting that same supplier and then clicking next. So here you just have a chance to uh, review any of the files that you uploaded before that you wanted to share with the supplier and add any new ones. If we scroll down, we can see that the document I uploaded before is already saved here. And then we're given the option to send a notification to the successful suppliers. And then we can click on next and then say yes. Great, and then you can see that we're being asked, please select the suppliers that should receive this attachment. So this is the attachment I uploaded earlier. There is only one supplier um, that I selected before, but if you had several suppliers here, you would tick the particular supplier that you would like to receive this document and then click on next. Great, so now we're taken back to our dashboard and this is now in the awarding communicate stage. So at this point, the action is on the supplier. So the supplier will now need to um, go and agree to the terms of the desktop evaluation in order for the application to progress. So it's important to remember that at this stage that the action is now on the supplier when the desktop evaluation initially moves into the awarding communicate stage. 
if I was to click on communicate desktop evaluation before the supplier had had the chance to agree to the terms, this means that the supplier would not receive any documents that I wanted them to sign and the desktop evaluation would go straight to the completed stage. So in order to get the supplier to receive those documents, it's really important to make sure that they agree to the terms first. We are going to go back here. So that will be going back to DPS Marketplace, accessing as a buyer once again. And this will take you to your manage your DMP category portfolios. Excellent. So we can see that the desktop evaluation remains in the awarding communicate stage, but now the supplier has agreed to those terms. So now what we can do is click on communicate desktop evaluation. What we're doing now is telling the supplier that they've been successful. So we can see here you've successfully awarded this desktop evaluation to the following tenderer. Click next. We're confirming that the award was successful and we're going to send the supplier award. Fantastic. So your desktop evaluation will now show as being in the completed stage. As you can see, this will be reflected on the supplier's dashboard as well. You can export the desktop evaluation. You can view the dig digital signature status. So now that we have clicked on communicate desktop evaluation and sent off that award notification, at this point, the supplier will receive any documents that you've asked them to sign via DocuSign. Brilliant. So that concludes the demonstration of the desktop evaluation. Once you've awarded your contract, one, keep your contract documents safe. Two, inform CCS of the contract award and key details. And three, work with your new supplier to launch the service. For technical support and help with navigating the system, take a look at the help and contact info at the bottom of the DPS system pages. For queries and support on the commercial agreements, just email info at crowncommercial.gov.uk mentioning the relevant agreement. Thank you.